Okay, so last time we were discussing your second season, mm -hmm. which began with a cringe-worthy pregame speech. Come on, Anna, don't do me like that. Sorry. <laughs> come on. Uh, no, nah, I'm all right. Uh, it, you know, it's part of the journey. You know, you got to walk before you can run. You got to crawl before you can bowl. <laughs> so that was a crawl. Oh, yeah, no, that was a crawl and a face plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I learned from it, and I also grew from it. Um, you know, over the course of that year, I, I really figured out how to address the team and also how to do it my way. You keep going back to that idea of your way or as myself, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if you could help me understand what do you mean by that? Like, what kind of a leader are you? A still evolving leader. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then what kind of a leader were you back then as you started to find your way, let's say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, like I mentioned before, nobody expected much from us that season. But we pushed our way into the tournament, and it was my job to convince the team that we can make a run. And how'd you do that? Whew, that is a good question. Um, okay, so we went up against the number four seed in the first round. Underdogs. Oh, completely. But again, no one expected us to win. And we were the number 13 seed at that. Um, but we kept it close all game. And every time it looked like they were going to like take off, we made a run and we fought our way back in it. You showed resiliency. That's right. Come on. You know me. But uh, that's then when uh, I hit the shot. The shot? You don't know about the shot, Anna? No. It's probably one of the most famous moments in sports history. Sorry. Oh. No. <laughs> you, should, you should really see your face. <laughs> First off, I'm messing with you. It is not called the shot, but it was a pretty big shot. Uh, a tough one at that, might I add. And uh, that shot sent us into overtime. Okay, so that's a big deal, right? Yeah. Like, the euphoria must have been intense at the moment. Oh, absolutely. Um, but there's still a game that has to be won. And in that moment, you have to rally up the troops. And that is when a leader steps in. Mm. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the North Carolina Tar Heels going up against the Yukon Huskies. Time expires and we're going to overtime. Y'all bring it in, bring it in. Hey, come on, come on, come on. What you got for us, Captain? Yo, yeah, we're not supposed to be here. We're not supposed to be here. Nobody believed in us this season. No one. They said that we should be proud to be making it in the tournament. That we should be happy that we're battling against those guys like this. That we should be proud to be just here. Nah. That is a complete insult. I'm not proud and I'm not satisfied. And each and every one of y'all should not be satisfied as well. We worked too hard this whole season just to make it here. Now, I don't know those guys on the other side of this court are ready for a war. And that's what they're going to get. Because we don't back down easily. But I also know another thing. That we're going to win this game. That we're gonna win this game. Because I know it, and each and every one of y'all should know that as well. Should know it in your heart. Let's go. Now I've been trying to tell you that it's one thing. From the beginning of the game to the final shot, that I got you. I got your back. I'm your man. I'm your brother on that floor. From the first second to the last second, I'm your guy. Not only just tonight, but every night this season, I'm sure y'all, I got your back. Y'all ready? Yeah. I said, are y'all ready? Come on, are y'all ready? Let's do Come it. Come on, get it up then. On three, win. One, two, three, win. win. And it's the Huskies with the ball. Absolutely great game here. 
in the first round. Not many had this 13th seed led by MP on the verge of an upset. Thompson. And unable to get the go-ahead bucket. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. UConn trailing. And for MP and his team, they were on the verge of not even making the tournament. They were clearly the epitome and definition of a bubble team. I mean, but as you can see, they were a team nobody wanted to face in the first round. Soft touch off the glass. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. Three-pointer is on target. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch, and, and he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. Pass to Thompson. Over MP. Thompson can't get it to go. And North Carolina has possession. And it's a three-point game. Count that bucket. And this team needed a bucket. Red Thompson delivers. This guy truly can score. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws coming for him. You know, in the first half, this was a back-and-forth game, but MP had to pull his team together and come back from a double-digit deficit in the second half. And you wonder how much energy they had to spend just to stay alive. And before this overtime period, we saw MP pump his team up in the huddle. And you can see the team respond to him. It would be a great upset if they can pull this off. Here's MP. And foul called as he misses and will shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Webb. So the first one drops. And that gives them a four-point cushion. And so both free throws are good. And it's a five-point game. Outstanding work at the foul line to make this a two-possession game. Just about two minutes into the overtime period. What a game so far. And again, UConn no good. Pass to Thompson. Here's Mayo. Back to Thompson. Bangs on the trifecta. Showing off the range, Thompson knows you have to have a three in the modern game. And the Huskies call time here. Pass to Webb. And MP with the block. And they'll keep possession. And you look at MP's leadership over the course of this year, you can see the growth within his demeanor. You know, every time we see him, he's looked more and more comfortable as a leader. It suits him well, and I think he's been a major part of this team's success because of his growth. Yeah, they can count this one in the win column. It has been a tremendous effort. That's the right word for it, Greg. Dominant. This one was as one-sided as we've seen in a while. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They, they just seem to have lost their energy. And MP slams it in. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one out in style. What a time to have this kind of surge. The North Carolina Tar Heels will move on. And, you know, they were put to the test here in the first round with a grueling overtime win. But as they say, hey, it's about surviving and advancing at this stage. And they did just enough to get to round two. And we need to give it up for the performance that MP turned in for that overtime. He looked like a star out there as a sophomore came. We pushed ourselves through three more rounds before we finally went down. And it still bugs me to this day that I couldn't get us to the promised land.
Wow, I, I mean, what a finish. I know. The buzzer beater, the OT. So crazy. I need to watch this game mm -hmm. for research. For research, you sure? <laughs> you sure just for research? I mean, it was just like Junior said, you know, my freshman year. I got to figure out who I was. I got to figure out what the team needed. And some way, some way, somehow, some way, bring those two things together. That does not sound easy. And no, it, it was not easy at all. But that process was so satisfying, man. I mean, I had to find the best version of myself. And somehow, some way, use that to bring out the best version of the team. Literally, leadership in a nutshell. Well, in some respects, yeah. I mean, that's not exactly what I thought, too, but... The next season, I definitely found out that it's a lot more than just that. Like what in ooh, particular? Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on now. That's the question I got to answer next time. Okay, wait. You can't make me wait, really? Oh, oh I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> but it sounds like you turned into a fan, though. <laughs> no, it's just professional curiosity. Okay, well, your professional curiosity is going to have to chill a bit. <laughs> okay, but not too long. Thanks so much, MP. Uh, anytime.